Welcome back and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download and to learn AutoCAD or Inventor for absolutely free. Now these just going to, does not apply to just these two softwares. It's going to apply to all of Autodesk Full Suite. So I'm going to show you that as we get into it. Now you can see at the bottom it's only going to require you to do four things, right? So we're going to need four things. So let's go ahead and see what those things are. So when we talk about downloading AutoCAD and Inventor, we're going to need three things or three steps to do, right? The first one you probably already have is an internet, right? We have the internet. We, you're probably watching this on a mobile device or on your computer. If you want to, well, let's go ahead and jump over to Autodesk.com. And this is preferably done on the machine that you're going to be downloading AutoCAD or Inventor to. Okay, so let's jump over there and take a look at Autodesk together. So here we are on autodesk.com and let's kind of scroll down and the area that I'm looking for is going to be here where it says try Autodesk software for free, right? We're going to go ahead and click the download free trial and then we're going to wait till the next page open this up for us, right? So we can use any of Autodesk products for absolutely free, right? So AutoCAD is the one that I'm going to talk to you about today as well as Inventor. But also you can take a look at the AutoCAD Lite. So if you think of buying any of these versions and the prices are located, if you don't need the 3D component of AutoCAD, I would recommend you not to buy it. The Lite version is just a 2D version. So all the stuff that I teach you or show you when we're doing 2D stuff, the AutoCAD Lite version will do just fine on that. If you really want to get into the 3D stuff, that's where Inventor is going to come in. Okay. Also, I want to kind of focus your attention to this student access, right? If you are a student at any college or any place of that nature, this is going to be the huge benefit to you, which will bring me to my second step of what we're going to need to do to download the software for free. Okay, so the second step in this downloading AutoCAD or Inventor process is that now that we have the internet pulled up and we went to autodesk.com and we found out where the free trials and things of that nature are, we need an email address. Preferably, we have two types of emails that we're going to use. One is going to be an educational one and the other one is going to be a personal one. The difference that you're going to see here is usually an educational one. It's going to have a .edu at the end of the email address. And your personal one is going to have something like .com, right? So let's take a look and, and see how we're going to use these two to our advantages. One of these is going to give you a lot more time as opposed to the other one. Okay, so back here on Autodesk.com, let's go ahead and download a free trial version of this. So I'll select this icon here for the AutoCAD download free trial version. And as this is pulling up, it's going to ask me, what purpose do I want to use this for, right? Do I want to use it for business, home use, educational, or file viewer? The file view version is nothing more than a free version and this you can use you know forever all it is is going to let you do is look at autocad dwg files or things of that nature so this one is not going to be really for you to learn anything off of other than just opening up autocad files these next three depending on what application you want to use this for has its advantages and disadvantages the one that has the educational one, I'm going to save that here for a, a little bit later after I explain the one if you just have a regular .com email address. So this is for all the ones that have .com email address. I'm going to go in and I'm going to select the home use and then I'm going to go to next and choose product. All right now since I clicked on AutoCAD, it's giving me all the AutoCAD things that I'm going to use. So I have to choose between which one that I'm going to use. And if you're trying to learn AutoCAD, just use the regular one. If you do have a Mac computer, you can use the AutoCAD that is for Mac, but just be advised all of the videos that I use or that I, I create are going to be in the personal or PC are using Windows. They don't use the Mac version, so I won't be able to help you too much with that. But if you go and you select the AutoCAD and then I go next and sign up, I want you to take a look here. So you can see that if I use this, I'm only going to get 15 days to download it, right? 
So that is really not a lot of time. They give you about two weeks to play with it and learn as much as you can. And that's okay. Now, just remember that you're using just a regular .com email address. So you can use one regular .com email address and learn as much as you can for 15 days. And I don't know if this is true or not, but you can also use another .com email address. And hopefully, you know, if you uninstall it, and I'm not telling you to do this, but that might be another way that you can get maybe an additional 15 days out of it. I have not tried that me personally, but it might be worth a try. All right. But that is the way that you're going to get it. Now, keep in mind that this is a .com email address. So Yahoo, MSN, or Gmail, any of those are going to only give you 15 days of using this software. Let's go back and take a look at the educational one, which is going to switch us over to the educational community, right? And you also seen when I went back to the Autodesk products, and let's go back and counsel this, and it kind of gave me a little preview of what it's going to actually do. And I know it's still stuck in the AutoCAD version right now. So what I'm going to do is scroll all the way back up here to the Autodesk icon here, select here, and that's going to bring me back to the landing page of the Autodesk homepage. Let's go ahead and click on the free download trial again. And what you're going to see here is that the difference between having that EDU is hugely and a big difference is that if I am a student and I'm using a .edu email address, that I can actually access because it will send you some kind of information over to that email address that you're going to need. But if you do have that, you're going to have it for one year. And now what this means is that it's just not one year. It's just one year as long as you're in school or have access to that .edu email address. So I'm just going to go ahead and click over to that and show and take a look at how the educational one looks, right? And it's going to look a lot like the other one. It's going to give you all the software that you can download for absolutely free and use it for one year and these are not any kind of trial versions or any of that it's the full blown AutoCAD version that you are using for absolutely free here at the bottom you're gonna see that this is all of Autodesk products that you can download and if you're into doing some kind of gaming or stuff of that nature you can see that 3d studio max is actually one of them the two programs that I'm gonna focus on is gonna be AutoCAD and inventor professional Okay, so just remember that the process for this is about the same, but it's going to have a couple of more steps involved into it. All right, so the first thing you're going to have to do is provide that email address, right? And we're talking about the .edu email address. And you can see the other two steps here after you provide that email address is that it's going to look for the educational institute and some kind of educational verification. Usually this is a transcript, so if you do have a transcript from that school, you're going to have to submit that as well. But if you do those two things, you're going to be able to have access to this for one whole year. So if you are a student, this is a huge benefit for you to use this for one year. Now, like I said before, is that this does not only apply to one year and it's done. So if you're in that school for another year afterwards, you can always renew this and then you get these products for another year and another year and so forth and so forth. If you happen to work at a college or anything along that line or work in the educational field and you do have access to that, that will apply too. So you can utilize this and keep going for years and years and years. All right. All right. So now that you went to the website, you have it and you downloaded it. Before you actually hit that download button, you're going to need to check your computer, right? Which is going to bring me to the third step here is the computer. You're going to make sure that you have a certain requirements that you're going to use. And I'm going to go over the two requirements that you're going to need for AutoCAD and both Inventor. Now, I'm also going to use the latest and greatest version. And this version that I'm looking at right now happened to be the 2025 version. So if you're using a a older version just remember that the requirements may be the same if not lower so that might be one of your ways of looking at it and going like okay maybe i don't need the latest and greatest versions uh, what i found out in this program is that yes every year that they put out a new one there are some additional features but overall autocad does not change it has not changed since i've been using it since the year 2000 and it is still going strong today so some of the basic requirements that you're going to need, and remember that I'm referring to AutoCAD 2025 right now, is that you're going to need at least 
8 giga gigabytes of memory, or RAM. You can see the processor speed here is about 2.5 to 2.9 gigahertz, and but it's recommending that you have something over 3. Now, if you're just starting off and learning it, most likely you're not creating any kind of complicated drawings that's going to need a super lot of memory and processing and, and, and things of that nature. So I would really stick and recommend that you use the basics. But if you can't afford a high end computer, these are where you want to go. OK, what I always try to tell people when they're first learning this and they ask me what type of computer to get, I typically will tell them that they're going to need a gaming computer. And you can see that most of these specs are in line with a gaming computer. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it's going to take to run an inventor one. And you can see here, if we look at the system requirements for Inventor 2025, it should be a little bit higher because we're using higher end graphics. So we're using something that is using 3D. So we would expect that you should have more than the minimum. So I'm just going to kind of scroll down a little bit here and you can pause it and see what the minimum recommendations are for you. And you can see that that, that computer speed is about the same, but usually the memory is going to be a little bit higher and the graphics putting out the output here on your graphics card is going to require you to do a little bit more. OK, so just to recap, now that we have went to Autodesk and we've we've checked out and we got our email address and we've downloaded it, it meets all of our specs and we got these two programs or any of the other programs. But the ones I'm referring to is going to be Inventor or AutoCAD. The last step to learning this, since we already have everything downloaded, is going to be the easiest one, right? You're already here. You're looking at my page right now. So let's go ahead and just simply subscribe. So if you got any value out of this, just go ahead and subscribing to my channel is going to help you out a lot, mainly because I have over 200 videos discussing these two topics. And let's go ahead and take a look at my channel and I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at. OK, so here you can see that I'm on my channel's landing page and that I have a bunch of videos just relating to this topic. So if I kind of scroll down here and I'm just looking at all of the videos, you can see that I have made quite a few videos just discussing how to do things in both Inventor and in AutoCAD, right? So you can learn this super quick and just spend some time on my page looking at all of the videos and it's going to show you anything from creating 2D drawings, how to put it on a title block, how to create a title block, how to make an isometric or how to just transfer things from 2D to 3D. Right. If you want to get started and a good place that I always tell people to start on is that if you come to my my playlist here, you can see the introduction day one, day two and so forth. These are going to be videos that's going to establish you with getting started. Now they're not going to be super long videos. You can you can get them done, but it's going to explain to you how to use each and every one of these commands as you get started. Another good one to look at is also the introduction to AutoCAD. This is just a lecture and things of that nature that you can listen to me try to explain these concepts to you, right? So this is the four ways that you can learn and download AutoCAD, you know, and I, I highly recommend. And if you got any value out of this, you can just please hit the subscribe button for me. I really do appreciate it. And I do enjoy making these com these uh, these videos and things of that nature for you. If you got any comments or anything that I forgot or you want to see me do, please, by all means, leave a comment for me and I will try to answer you as quickly as possible and get those videos out. And I want to thank you for tuning in and watching this one. And I hope this was informative to you. All right. So thank you for watching this. Bye bye.